So I'm currently working on this large abstract painting and at the moment I'm just rusting up the top section here so um, it gives a really nice contrast between these deep rusty earthy tones and these beautiful vibrant green tones um, and then eventually I'm going to blend them in the middle so there's more of a subtle uh, uh, like contrast between between the, uh, the two sides. So I'm working on that as well as this painting. Uh, I added the cat last night and I'm just painting in a heart here and the painting probably will change quite a bit and I've put a couple of roses in there. I've started to put a rose there. Um, there's a negative space for a rose there and there's one sort of down here and I'll start to add the details because I want to sort of have like this wild rose bush sort of creeping in with these beautiful almost avocado typed colored green green leaves um, so yeah so that's a work in progress which is coming along quite nicely I've got a whole bunch of stuff going on um, I'm making a whole lot of these round little artworks uh, which I've just started to put up for sale on my Etsy store and so I've sold uh, quite a few so far so I uh, recently sold this little piece which is which is one of my favorites um, and this one as well which is another great uh, color combination and then this one which is a double so you sort of get these really nice color variations I'm um, working on some boxes and they're all quite sculptural and 3D so these have been a lot of fun to make uh, this one's actually got, I can't really see it but it's actually all rust inside and this one has got some screen printing on it and then it's got um, a copper finish to make it look like um, like old copper a um, whole bunch of paintings uh, that I've been working on as well uh, in different processes of uh, getting finished so that's going to have a piece of plexiglass over the top of some more imagery um, and these ones are obviously ones that need a lot of work this one's finished it's got a nice piece of plexiglass on it with a heart and some writing on it which is which turned out quite good and um, I love how this one turned out as well um, and the writing says through our own actions we inspire others to be the change they wish to see in the world um, so that's that piece as well and then some larger pieces the, these larger ones are 30 by 30 or 300 millimeters by 300 and they're multi-layered plexiglass artworks um, and this one's called the ascent or the ascension um, and there, there's this one called the Stampede, and once again, that's got a plexiglass front on it. Liked how that one turned out, and some others in the series that are, well, that one's on its side, that are, that are oops, and that just fell down, that are coming together, and that one. So overall, all in all, I've got a um, fair bit of stuff on the go. Some little works on paper that I'm playing around with. This little piece, which, which I love how it turned out. It's just like a little wall sculpture and it sits up like that. But the great thing about it is it, it has um, an LED light on the back. So you can actually switch it on. And it has you can have like a soft glow when it's on the wall. Um, so that's pretty... Uh, and it's called... Relic is what I've called it um, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. Hey you birds. Well as you can see by some of the artworks that I'm showing you, I've been pretty busy in the last uh, month really. Um, what I really love about um, the way that I work is it's all about cross-pollination and I tend to get more ideas when I work on a lot of different stuff. So you kind of work on something and you get an idea from that and then that pollinate something else and then another idea comes up and it's just for me a really good way to work I know not everyone can can do that but um, I know we've all got to come up with ways that uh, work for us 
So, um, what else has been happening? Um, I got this cushion made recently of my artwork. It's through a company called Society6. Basically, you upload your digital a high quality digital image to uh, their website and you can order your own art in a whole range of different products. So there's tote bags, cushion covers, mugs, um, shirts, um, yeah, you name it, they've got it. And I ordered one to see how good the quality is and I'm really happy with, with how it's turned out. The fabric's thick, um, the, the, the image is beautiful, um, and this only costs 23 bucks. And I have to say, it is de definitely well worth uh, the, the price. So if you're looking for uh, a company where you can put your uh, images on, which doesn't cost a lot, um, then check out Society6. Um, I've also got a store there where I'm selling all my uh, artworks on different products as well. Um, so it's a good thing to do. Um, you, you won't get rich from it, but you know it's just nice to get to get your work out there that's affordable for, for everybody. So yeah, so that's my first one. I've also bought some uh, material from the uh, from a um, from a um, fabric store. It's very girly and pretty, but I'm going to um, customize it and put some sort of um, uh, some of my cats on it, or or some sort of screen print over the top, and then maybe make my own uh, cushion from it just to see uh, what I can come up with. I've also been printing, started to print my own t-shirts. This t-shirt here is one of my first designs and it's a heart with a wing and um, I really really love how it's turned out. Um, and I guess it's to represent that, or it's just a reminder to say, you know, we're all human, we make mistakes and that's the only way we, we grow. Um, and it's also about being kind to yourself and also to other people. Um, so that was the philosophy behind uh, this this particular design. Um, I've already had a lot of interest in people wanting to order this design, so at the moment I'm just taking requests. So if you'd like to get yourself get your hands on this T-shirt, then please email me, um, or you can go to my website and have a look at the, uh, the design closer and let me know if you're interested in it. I'm selling the T-shirt for around 40 bucks, uh, and that includes postal as well. Um, that's that's just because because the the, qual the quality of the t-shirts good quality um, uh, it's a it's a nice print and um, I think overall it's what it's worth it I've just finished this one of my kitty and that also looks awesome and I've got a photo up on my website also of me wearing this t-shirt so if, you know I'm going to be offering a, a few different um, uh, options so check it out. I've also just finished writing up a blog on my website, updating you with what's going on, what exhibitions I've been in recently, um, and what's coming up. I've got an online course coming up, speaking of that, and it's called Outside the Box. And it is a workshop around uh, creating sculptures from uh, everyday, ordinary, objects from you know empty cartons that you use to you know plastic bottles uh, we're going to be transforming them from that, that into a piece of artwork um, and as I, you saw earlier this is one of my examples and you can sort of see the rust inside um, and this originally started out just as a perfume bo a perfume box which was pretty boring and would have just been thrown out but the little bit of manipulation and a few little um, ideas to keep in the back of your head it can transform anything into something that's unique and looks fantastic um, other than that I'm busy I'm busy painting um, I've got some uh, like I said some works up on my Etsy store finally started to sell work again. I know it's been so long and um, I haven't really been focused on the selling side. Uh, I, I guess for me making art it's not about the sales or, or selling stuff. 
So I wanted to leave you with a video uh, of a film that I watched last night and it was about a master sushi chef by the name of uh, Yuhiro and he talks a little bit about his philosophy and his passion for making sushi and he's become, become one of the most famous, if not the famous, most famous sushi chef in Japan and he's pretty old but uh, it was a great uh, film about his life and his passion for something that he loves and I think that can be translated into anything that you're passionate about so I just want to leave you with some of his wise words and uh, I want you to really think about what he has to say and how that can relate to you and your own uh, passion for being creative. Later. その自分がやろうと思った仕事それにもう没頭しなきゃダメです好きにならなきゃダメですその自分の仕事に惚れなきゃダメなんですよただあれがダメこれがダメって言ってたら一生経っても子供のことはできないと思いますだから自分がこれ